Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to completely take apart your Samsung Galaxy S8 Active. So let's get right into it. First thing we're going to need to do is remove the SIM and SD card tray. Let's eject it out. Okay, so next up, uh, the most important step here to remove the back cover is we're going to need to give it heat with a hairdryer or heat gun, moving it around consistently so that we don't burn the inside of the phone. Or we can also use a hot plate, which is what I prefer to use. So I will set it on the hot plate for about a minute or two at 110 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind, there will be a link in the description where you can buy the parts and tools for this repair. I recommend that you use uh, some rubber gloves so that when we grab the phone now, you will not get burned. So next up, we'll also be using a suction cup. We're gonna place it towards the bottom here to try and get some suction and lift up the back cover since it is held down with adhesive. So we're gonna try and get a slight opening and uh, we're gonna use our prying tool, our thin solid prying tool to wedge it in there. There we go. Once we get it in there, we are good to go. We can use other prying tools to help us out so that we can go around the all the sides of the back cover removing the adhesive. Remember, don't stick the uh, prying tool in too much so that we don't damage anything, any cables under the back cover. We can go ahead and pull it up once we have most of the adhesive removed, but be careful because there is one more flex cable that we need to disconnect for the fingerprint scanner. So we're going to disconnect that flex cable, as you can see here, pull it out, and then we can completely remove the back cover. We're going to be removing 14 small Phillips head screws with a small Phillips head screwdriver. A magnetic screwdriver is always the best one to use since it will help you in lifting up these screws. So once we have all of these screws removed, we can go ahead and pry up on the bottom piece here where the loudspeaker is. With the prying tool, we can remove it. Then we can go ahead and lift up the top portion and it will come off pretty easily in one piece. Next up, we're going to remove one small Phillips head screw holding down the motherboard. Once we have that out of the way we can go ahead and disconnect uh, some of the flex cables. We can disconnect the camera cable up here and the front flash. Let's go ahead and disconnect this cable down here on the side for the volume buttons and the battery cable as well. Let's go ahead and disconnect uh, the home button cable towards the bottom and now the antennas from the charging port. Once you have them all removed we can go ahead and lift up on the motherboard and then we're gonna pry down on the charging port to disconnect it and the motherboard will come out completely. Next up we're gonna need to remove six small Phillips head screws located on the charging port holding it down. Once you have all of these screws removed, we're going to go ahead and pry up on the small flex cable here for the home button, and then we can lift up on the flex cable for the charging port connector. Lift up gently so that you don't rip the charging port. We're going to pull up on the antennas as well to release them, and we can use a prying tool to help us pull back on the uh, charging port here because it is held down with adhesive. You can also uh, use a, the screwdriver to pull up on the headphone jack and then uh, slowly pull up on the charging port and it will come out completely. So next up, we're going to be removing the battery. Uh, we're going to need to use a solid prying tool to wedge in between the frame and lift up on the battery. If it's not coming out easily, you may want to give it a little bit of heat on the screen to loosen up the adhesive, but it will come out even without the heat. Gently pry up on all sides and then you can lift it up with your hands once you have it out. 
let's go ahead and remove the vibrator motor with a thin um, screwdriver or prying tool wedge under it and pull it up then we're going to go ahead and lift up the ear speaker right here comes out pretty easy let's go ahead and remove the bracket here for the proximity sensor and then we're going to go ahead and lift up this flex cable here, connector here for the volume and power buttons let's go ahead and pry up uh, the brackets here for the volume flex cables we're gonna have to wedge under it and pull up on it on all sides slowly and then pull it up with your fingers this is what your volume bracket and flex cable will look like uh, once you're ready to put it back in make sure you position it correctly like you see here so that it can fit back in the frame correctly all okay, right and this is what your Samsung Galaxy S8 Active looks like completely taken apart. All right, guys, so hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Remember, click on the subscribe button down below and on the bell to receive notifications on future videos. So we're gonna be doing a giveaway when we get to 100,000 subscribers of a brand new smartphone of your choice. So stick around, guys. Till next time, peace. Ciao.